HPCO, HPCO, this stock just went up 400%. If you're looking to make money in the stock market, then you are in the right place. Today, I'm gonna to actually share with you exactly how to trade HPCO stock according to how I'm trading it. If you appreciate the help that I'm giving you, please consider liking the video because it helps traders just like you who don't know how to trade yet or aren't trading as profitably as they want to be, make money in the stock market. Thank you for joining and I hope you enjoy the video. It's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. This is Coach Coda, your day trading coach. We're gonna go over HPCO stock and how to trade it. Jane Street is the largest institutional shareholder of HPOCO stock. So we do have an institutional investor investing in HPO stock. This stock went up substantially. I mean, we're talking over 300% today on February 9th, 2023. And the idea is if we can get in this either now or at a later time, then we can make some money. And you know, I'm all about helping you guys make money just like I do in the free discord, which you can join link in the description. We have plenty of stocks that we go over. We called the CBNA short squeeze. We called the short squeeze on um, BBAI. We were, we were actually covering that one at $1.80. It went to over $7. Multiple 300%, 500% runners in the free Discord. With HPCO stock, this one went up about 300% so far. And uh, this stock, Hempaco, it's up by more than 220% today. This must have been published um, late, or should I say, this must have been an earlier article because it went up much more than 220%. But the idea is, okay, Snoop Dogg may be the reason behind this rally. Snoop Dogg, that's right. So this company, okay, this is a hemp cigarette company, all right? So it's not even that, like, I, I don't know about you, but hemp cigarettes, that's not like the first thing I think of when I think of a stock going up 10x. But they made an exciting announcement earlier this month Hempaco will be partnering it's the company with rapper Snoop Dogg to create a joint venture called HPDG. Okay, so HPDG. HPDG will create a consumer packaged good line that will be marketed by the rapper. Okay, so we're talking about a new line of products. These products will include hemp rolling paper, edibles, blunts, vapes, and more. Okay, so we got a lot of different things going on with this marijuana stock. I've been looking for the best team out there to produce hemp products with me, and this team has it all, the science, innovation, and the reach, said Snoop Dogg. So Snoop Dogg approves of HPCO, and that's why we should buy all the shares. Just kidding. This is a video for educational purposes only. Do not take any of this as financial advice. Following the JV announcement, Hempaco submitted a Form S1 to the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, that details a 4.73 million share public offering. The public offering is estimated to be priced at $1.11 per share, which would bring its total value to 5.25 million. However, the estimate was raised on the closing price on February 2nd. Today, shares of Hempaco, HKA HPCO, are in the high $2 range. Okay, so following the JV announcement, okay, Form S1 submitted to the Securities and Exchange Commission. 4.73 million share public offering. Okay public offering priced at $1.11 per share. So essentially, Hempaco went public. They went public and they initially announced that they would only be trading at about a dollar per share. However, today, HPCO are in the high $2 range. And again, this is a this this news is basically old news because if you look at the HPCO stock right now, and we are gonna do that, HPCO is trading at much higher than one dollar and eleven cents per share and it's trading much higher than two dollars per share something is going on with hpco stock and you as a retail trader you should know what that is now we have one more thing to go over and then we'll go into the actual chart analysis of where you should be thinking about buying and selling hpco stock so hpco stock three investors betting on hpco stock tracking institutional ownership is important Okay, we already know this. Basically, the big banks, when the big banks are buying a stock, that means that we should be buying the stock too because they control the market. If they are in something, if they are in a boat, then that boat is going all the way to the promised land. Guess what? We want to go to the promised land. That's how we make money. Okay, so if, we, if, they're, if they're getting on the boat, if they're on the boat and they're sailing over to money land, then you can bet that me and the Rocket Trader team are going to be going with them. So Jane Street... 43,920 shares, okay, substantial amount, right? 43,000, 
So even if that's just forty three thousand dollars, if it if she bought it at a dollar, which she probably did, that's still a substantial amount because if she's able to triple her money, then she can make you know one hundred twenty thousand dollars or more. UBS Group six thousand five hundred forty five shares, right? So you a lot of times you don't get into large institutions investing in smaller cap stocks like HPCO. But this is still relevant, okay? This is this is still a amount of shares here and their public report. When you have institutional investors investing in anything and this is publicly reported, then that can cause a stock to rise dramatically, okay? Because other other institutions, it's almost like a party that's getting started. And this party, when it starts to get started and you see some institutions starting to invest, the other institutions are gonna invest as well. And pretty soon, um, as a lot of institutions are going to invest in the stock and that's going to cause the stock to rise more and more each time. So if you are part of that as a retail investor, that's how you're able to double your money or triple your money. Not going to happen every time, but in terms of what stocks it tends to happen on, it tends to happen on stocks, smaller cap stocks like HPCO, which basically means that there's less shares available. And so the share value goes up a lot faster than with some of these other stocks. So this is HPCO stock. And now that we went over the news, we're gonna go over how to trade HPCO stock. Now, I don't go in depth about how to trade stocks here because I have a pro Discord, which you can join anytime by clicking the link in the description where I tell traders exactly how to trade stocks. But I will help you with HPCO. I will help you make money on HPCO. This is not financial advice. Okay, but I'm just gonna tell you the way I'm gonna trade HPCO. And as you guys know, I've called over 100 short squeezes within the past two months. Over 100 short squeezes within the past two months. Talking over 15% movement in one day. Over 15% return in one day. I've called over 100 in the past month. So HPCO, HPCO, picking this up. Okay, picking this up anywhere from two dollars to as high as three dollars. Okay, that's the range you want to think about buying HPCO if you were to buy HPCO. And then where do you sell? Okay, that is the question. You want to sell at three forty-five. Okay, three dollars and forty-five cents, which is basically where HPCO is right right now. You want to sell at three eighty-six. Okay, that's where HPCO can go up to. And yes, HPCO can top out at four dollars. That's why we want to trade um, sell at three eighty-six. Okay, because we're starting to get we got the crescent moon pattern here, which I teach my students, and that's what allowed this thing to basically double. And so if we sell at the three eighty-six level, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade so if you sell at 386 and you actually do sell it then you could still make some money in hpco stock okay maybe you don't want to buy at 458 of course i teach my students how to do that but if you buy in here from two to three dollars then yeah you could make a pretty penny on hpco selling it at 386 that's a 33 percent return three thousand three hundred dollars in your pocket on a ten thousand dollar account that's three thousand $300 that you could get like clockwork just by taking the trade on the channel. Now, if you're looking to take the stock for an even further run, I would close most of it before $5. I would set the next profit target at $4.81. You don't have to sell at $4.58, sell at $4.81 because stock can go all the way up to $5.44. I don't expect it to go that high, but it can go that high. And there's another really crazy profit target up here at $10. But again, don't wait for that, okay? Do not wait for that. I'm thinking at the highest, this stock is gonna go up to about $9. Why? Because that's double what the current high of the stock is. And if there's enough institutions investing in this stock, that's where it could go. I would personally close most of this stock before $4 and just take the 33% increase. But if you wanna go and you wanna hold for a larger profit target, be my guest. Just remember, if you lose money, that is much worse than if you make money. So I'd rather you guys make money consistently than gamble everything and lose money. It's not what you trade, it's how you trade. And more than that, it's who you trade with. You are trading with Coach Coda now. Thank you guys for coming to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.